we're back with Workout San Diego, and I'm here with Ty and Bobby, and they're going to explain to us the first step, which is warming up. Warming up. Yes, so we're going to go ahead and go right into jumping jacks. Ready? Again. Jumping jacks. Good. Nice. How many would they typically do? I'll go about, about a minute. Before we're taking through a minute of jumping jacks. And what would you say the best technique for jumping jacks are? Um, just hands up. You want to try to get the heart rate up, get the feet moving. Got to keep time your breathing. Inhale through your nose and exhale. From here, we're going to go ahead and drop and go right into mountain climber. And we'll go about a minute here as well. Nice, good. So best to have knees the highest or faster? Um, you can you can go slow, you can go fast, you can go your speed, whatever is comfortable for you. You know, if you're starting out, you want to go nice and slow, modify. We'll go about a minute here as well. And would their arms be locked or slightly bent as well? Slightly bent, yes. And is that to protect your joint or? Yes. So you never really want to lock your arms? No. No. Just keep tucking your knee in. After one, we're going to go right into a knee high run. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go knee high run. Tuck your knees up. And help your nose and exhale. This one I won't go about a minute because usually I like to can't go a minute. From here, after one, you're going to go right into a butt kick run. Four, three, two, and one. So butt kick run. So I usually try to warm up the students for about, about 10 minutes before we get into the TRX class. So they're not, any injuries are happening. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And their arms typically would be closer to their chest? Um, their arms usually should be behind their butt and they're, they're, they're kicking oh, their butt. Got you guys. <laughs> so it's a butt kick run. Nice. Keep bringing your heels up. Four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, we're going to go ahead and grab the TRX. And you can warm up on the TRX as well, too. And TRX stands for? Total body resistance exercise. Nice. And do you know, like, who invented it or... Any specific information about it? Um, Randy Hetrick is uh, the designer uh, who's a former U.S. Navy SEAL. And um, uh, he, him and I were at SEAL Team 1 together for a short time. And then he went over to Dev Group. But uh, in order to uh, create a, a good workout on the, on the go, since we're always moving, traveling, doing different things, uh, he ended up taking this idea, this concept, and, uh, and then uh, commercializing it. And... Um, a very successful company at this point, yeah. Very cool training team. Awesome, thank you. And would we like to begin? Yes, so, so from yes. here, you're going to go ahead and take the TRX all the way to the back. So you're here at 12 o'clock. You're going to take it all the way to the back. And we're at 6 o'clock. So you can go about here to the front. Back. You can go about here to the front. And you're never locking up the knees. So you want to inhale down. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale down. Exhale and squeeze, good. So we're gonna do this for 20 reps, that's three. Inhale, exhale and squeeze four. Inhale down, exhale and squeeze five. So every time that you come up, you're not locking that in. Okay, time your breathing. Inhale down, exhale and squeeze, good. Let's go 10 more, 10. Nine. Exhale, eight. Seven. Exhale, that is six. Time your breathing, exhale five, easy so far, right? Exhale, that's four. Exhale, that's three, two, and that is one. All right, from here, we're gonna go right into a push-up. So what you're gonna do is, um, we're gonna go ahead and face 12 o'clock. Now, if you need to modify, if you're starting out, what I usually have my students do is tee off. So you can put your right foot forward, whatever's comfortable to you. And um, the more that you go up towards 12 o'clock, the easier it is. Okay? The more that you go back as you progress, you're going to take it back and it gets harder. Okay? So if you're starting out, go ahead and bring it up more towards 12 o'clock. Bring your chest all the way down. 
can tear up here to the gas and then push it off. You can tear up. You can hear the right of the tongue. Push up. Ready? Exhale one. Inhale down. Exhale two. Here we go. Exhale that's three. Exhale that's four. Five. Exhale that is six. Good. Seven. Inhale down. Exhale that's eight. Exhale, so that's nine. Inhale down. Exhale, that is ten. Let's go ten. Exhale, ten. Nine. So this is a push-up. Exhale, eight. Seven. Again, if you can't do 20 when you're starting out, even if it's ten, okay? Or five. Just do what you can. You're going to get stronger, but you won't get stronger overnight. Small baby step. Let's go four more. Four. Exhale, that is three. Inhale down, exhale, that is two. Inhale down, exhale, that is one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bow back. So take it all the way to the back. We're gonna go right into a row. Again, you can tee off here, okay? So right foot in front of the left or left in front of the right, whatever. We're gonna go into a back row, so chest up. So you wanna pull your chest all the way up towards your anchor, right here, palms in, okay? So we're gonna go into a back row. If you're strong, go ahead and put uh, both foot together. Ready, let's go 20. Exhale one, inhale down. Exhale two, inhale down. Exhale that is three. So keep pulling your chest up towards your ankle. Four, arms in. Exhale five. So every time that you go back, you never want your butt to drop. Okay, so don't drop your bottom down. Don't drop your trunk down. Flat back, good. Exhale, good. Inhale down. Exhale, squeeze, good. Keep pulling your chest up towards the anchor. So 10 more, 10. Exhale, that is nine. Inhale down. Nice. Exhale, eight. Exhale, that is seven. Keep breathing. Still look cute, but keep breathing. Exhale. Give me five more. Exhale, five. Four. So this is a back row. Exhale, that is three. Exhale, that is two. Exhale, that is one. All right, we're going to go ahead and take it down to the floor. We're going to go right into runners. We're going to go ahead and put your right foot in. I like to put my right foot in. And then I drop down to the floor and I put my left foot in. There's two ways you can do this. I just get in it. Got it? And then put your right foot in, drop down to the floor. And then put your left foot in. From here, make sure your palms directly right under your shoulders and want to go right into mountain climber, runners. Yeah. And you're gonna tuck your knees in. So if you're beginning, just do about five, or you can drop down to your forearm right here if you're beginning, and just go right into your mountain climber right here, okay? Do five tuck, do ten tuck, and then just relax. Are you ready? So usually with this one, I go about a minute, a minute long. Are you ready? And let's go. Then if you're starting out, put all the way down to the side. And if you're, if you're advanced, mm -hmm. then you're up on your palm. Nice. Tuck it, tuck it again. I'm not looking for speed. Just keep beautiful form. Don't jeopardize your form to keep up. Do what you can. Pump about 10, 5, relax, and get back into it. Nice. Inhale through your nose and exhale. And Tank, Tank's always hanging out. He always wonder what you guys are doing. <laughs> nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So we're going to pretend that's a minute. Five, four, three, two, and one. And from here, going to relax and then lay on your back. And we're going to find two hands for right here. So you're going to lay back. Grab your T-Rex, lay back. Lift your legs up and then place your heel right into the footwork. Nice. There you go, your heels. Got it? So from here, we're gonna go ahead and bridge up. So you're gonna lift your bottom off the floor and you're gonna tuck your knees in, okay? Put your hands out. You need to, like an angel, palms down. And go ahead and tuck. So from here, you can tuck, thrust up, and then tuck for 10. And if you need to modify, relax. Otherwise, try to stay up for one minute. Are you ready? And let's go. Bridge up, tuck it in. Nice, nice, nice. Do what you can, do what you can. Nice. 
Nice. Keep going, keep going. Go about five or ten and then relax. And then bridge up again. Go about five or ten and then relax. So it's just small baby steps. That's what you have to do. Small baby steps when you're starting out. Again, I always tell my students, you know, you need to modify. And you will get stronger the more that you're consistent with the workout. Keep tucking, keep tucking, keep tucking. So we'll pretend that for a minute again. Five, four, three, two, and that is one. So there's a lot of things you can do with the T-Rex. We just want to do a few of them. Let's go ahead and stand to your feet. Cut it. <laughs> We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back. We'll work out San Diego. Thank you. Manja Italiano in the vibrant heart of downtown Chula Vista. Manja on 3rd offers an authentic taste of Casenza, Italy, where we believe in the Italian custom of celebrating great friends and special occasions over a fine meal. For reservations, call 619-623-3553 or go to manjaon3rd.com. 